Hey all, Patricia here, and I'm traveling for history. I'm in Charlotte, Vermont today at Mount Philo State Park. This is the oldest state park in Vermont, which opened in 1924. And uh, did find this wonderful storyboard for us, you know, an historic marker. So let me just go ahead and read this to you. A recreation destination. From the late 1800s to 1924, Mount Philo was an excursion destination for guests at the Mount Philo Inn. This building's still standing, by the way. Guests would travel from inn to summit via a carriage road, stopping at gazebos and benches along the way. Once at the top, they would enjoy the excellent views of the Champlain Valley, Adirondack, and Green Mountains from the deck of a wooden observation tower. In 1924, Mrs. Frances Humphreys of Brookline, Massachusetts, gave 150 acres of land on Mount Philo to the state of Vermont to be managed for the recreational pleasure of Vermont citizens and tourists. With this gift, Vermont's first state park was established. In 1929, to accommodate growing recreational use, the carriage road was improved and a picnic area was created. In 1935 to 36, a crew of the Civilian Conservation Corps, a national public works project during the Great Depression, improved the road again, built the picnic shelter and rangers' quarters, and enlarged the picnic area. The Triple C built the camping area in 1937. There's nothing remaining of uh, that except for a, a bathroom. Today, Mount Philo State Park still fulfills Mrs. Humphrey's vision as a peaceful place to recreate and relax. Many visitors are drawn to the park year-round to enjoy views, picnics, hike, bike, pursue academic interests, cross-country ski, slide, and snowmobile. How interesting is that? All right, so we're walking um, to the Summit Lodge. It's not accessible by um, driving to it. So I'm just going to show you some of this walk as we go up there. And uh, we see that uh, there's a, the Summit restrooms and a shelter. The restrooms are uh, composting toilets. What a great idea at a state park. I should point out that uh, there are other uh, state parks that were before this one, but they were um, used for, uh, they were considered agricultural resources, so for timberland. Um, but here, this was the first one that was uh, put into use for recreational purposes. Very cool. And a beautiful walk. Now this, um, this road here is considered to be uh, one of the original carriage roads. Um, the, when the Civilian Conservation Corps came in, they straightened uh, a lot of roads. And the Civilian Conservation Corps, by the way, was a part of the New Deal, which was a, a package uh, that Franklin Delano Roosevelt had wanted for the United States. It put young men the, between the ages of 18 and 25 to work. Um, it was a job to... Um, to build up national parks and state parks. Um, they built, um, they strained, they did roads, they built campgrounds, uh, bathhouses, um, all sorts of things. They also uh, did some work for the ski industry too. All right, so as we continue on, they have a sign here on forest history. I'm not going to read that to you, but uh, let me take a snapshot of it, and you can certainly uh, feel free to freeze the um, video to read to your heart's content. So here are the restrooms. These are built in the um, what's known as NPS Rustic, National Park Service um, Rustic. And the idea of these buildings is that they're painted brown, so they blend in to the scenery. Um, and they're often built with, um, um, uh, in rustic manners, meaning they used tree limbs. You may recall in my very first video on the gazebo in the uh, Lakeview Cemetery in Burlington, that that had 
uh, tree limbs as well because it's built in the Adirondack style, which is rustic. Okay. So as I said, this is the bathroom. I'm going to try it out. No worries, you're not coming with me. Um, and this is the lodge. And we're going to uh, do some walking over there in just a moment. So hang on. Alrighty, so as I said, we're at the lodge now. And you can see it's built in this rustic architectural style um, known as uh, National Park Service Rustic also known as park architecture. Who doesn't love that? Um, so we'll see if this place is open. We can see that there are picnic tables uh, between uh, this portion and the other. And um, there's music. I can't control that. People are playing it in a public area. I hope I don't get dinged for that. But uh, we can see these picnic area, this picnic shelter, and look at this fireplace. Holy cow. Um, I think the uh, I think the fireplace was built by the Civilian Conservation Corps. I'll double check that. It'll be on my website, travelingforhistory.com. Um, I'm always curious about the, uh, <laughs> the parts we don't normally see. So let's see what we can see. We can. Well, not really anything. But, uh, okay. Maybe that wasn't as interesting as I thought it would be. Um, I don't know if, I don't think this is the kind of lodge we can enter. Um, oh, there's a party going on in there. No can do. I love these steps entering it. The lodge, by the way, can be rented for events, private parties and all that good stuff. Uh, you need to contact them, uh, the state parks and Mount Philo in particular to find uh, out more about that. Love the stone wall. The uh, Civilian Conservation Corps likely laid the stone walls. They, they did so many things. Uh, these young men, who otherwise were dirt poor. And oftentimes, too, they were able to, uh, to uh, uh, earn their high school diploma, too. Oh my gosh, that's just uh, amazing, isn't it, now? All right, so this is the um, park lodge here at Mount Philo State Park. Thanks so much for coming with me today. I do appreciate it. This is Patricia, and I'm traveling for history. And until I see you again, I hope you have a fabulous rest of your day. Thanks for watching. Bye now.